Is this real life right now? Is that guy really mowing his lawn and there's a tornado back there? Why do people try to get as close as they can to a tornado and try to film it? Well, this picture has become one of the most talked about pictures right now. This is a guy mowing his lawn at his home in Three Hills, which is located in Alberta. Cecilia Wessel snapped this picture of her husband when a tornado passed their home. A lot of people are calling this fake. I don't really know what to think. I think it, it actually is a real picture. I think there are really crazy people out there that would do this. Okay, next up we have this. This was an indiscriminate attack with knives in a crowded area of pubs and bars known as Borough Market. That was the craziest scene over the weekend. How's it going YouTube? I'm Landon. Let's talk about the news. Today I have a ton of big stories for you guys as well as huge updates from the terror attack that happened over the weekend. I have a ton of video footage to share with you guys as well. Anything I talk about in this video, any video footage I share with you guys, I'll make sure to put it in the links down below. You guys can check them out. One of the terrorists has been identified as 27 year old Abs. Apparently he has been traumatized when he was younger. When he was 8 years old his father was ran over by a vehicle and four years later when he was 12 years old his father was found dead in his bed at his east side london home family and friends have been investigated and they say that abs has been radicalized in 2013 at a mosque and he even tried to convert his children he offered his kids candy and money abs has an older brother in the army reserves and he has two children of his own and he's a part of an arranged marriage abs has slipped through the security services despite being reported to the police twice for extremism apparently abs was invited over his neighbors to a barbecue a week before the deadly attack. They are now describing this as like a send-off party, a celebration. Another terrorist was carrying an Irish identity card. Police are trying to figure out more information. Right now, there are all these large concrete barriers to help protect people walking on the sidewalk. You guys are looking at them right now. Also, these metal barriers have been set up to divide the sidewalk with the road so vehicles cannot drive just right onto the sidewalk. Police in London are also stepping up their gear and now there is more armed officers hitting the street. Take a look at this footage right here. You will see a ton of police officers grouping together to make sure that no one is at large. They need to be sure there are no other attackers. That includes checking buildings like this one nearby. Like the attack in Westminster, a car and knives have been used as weapons. But this time it wasn't a lone attack. A group of men planned this. As of right now, 36 people remain in hospital, including 21 in critical condition. 12 people have been arrested and 4 women were taken into police custody after there have been raids on in the, in the homes of the terrorists. Here's a scene from one of the bars when police entered. It was a very scary time. You'll see police officers telling people to see cover, to get down, so they can try to control the situation. <laughs> There are so many different video footage to what happened last night. It seems like hundreds of people took up their phones to film how scared the situation that they found themselves in. London has been on lockdown, but they have just reopened several roads and train stations. Over 50,000 commuters were affected by these closures, but it was to protect the civilians. Thousands of people have been paying tribute to everyone who has lost their lives. You can see police officers also gathering together. You can see how emotional they were. There was one police officer stabbed, so they are paying tribute to one of their own. Another story that was highly overshadowed by this was a deadly Texas shootout where the suspect is now dead and three officers were injured. They're currently in hospital in Laredo, Texas. Police were searching for 55 year old Antonio Rodriguez in connection to the shooting death of his girlfriend. When police found him, there was a shootout that ended in Antonio getting shot dead. Just to line the mood up for a little bit, let's talk about the box office. Let's see what happened over the weekend. Wonder Woman made over $100 million. Wonder Woman has set some records. One record was for the most money made on an opening weekend for a female directed feature. The record was held by 50 shades of gray which debuted with 85.1 million dollars and that was back in 2015 so this one just totally smashed it second at the box office was captain underpants the first epic movie the movie brought in 23 million dollars in its debut pirates of the caribbean's dead men tells no tales came third with 21 million dollars i still haven't seen that movie but i'm super excited everyone who has seen it is telling me that this is the best pirate so far so i can't wait to see it well there you guys have it that's all the news stories i have for you guys today there's probably gonna be so many more updates on this i'll try to put the updates on the end of tomorrow's video just so you guys have new stories for tomorrow so i'll see you guys tomorrow